Good morning, everyone. So today um, we're starting the uh, uh, conference from Tepic, uh, um, Nayarit, and uh, it's the 12th of July. And so without further ado, I'm translating and we'll El propósito the purpose de atender el tema of attending to the matter de la seguridad pública of public security enfrentar and, to, ese reto and de to meet that goal la paz of guaranteeing goal uh, for uh, no safety for the country, no that there not be, uh, pues, eh, requiere, uh, eh, that there be safety and no violence. Requires some work, a job that's permanent, that's transcending, Como such as público, it is a public dominion. Reunimos, um, I, este tema, we meet every day to deal with this matter a de la mañana, from 6 to 7 in the Nacional, morning in the National Palace. Pero However, we also hacer estas decided de to make these de la uh, meetings for security in the, in the Republican states eh, in order to be able to witness up close what is eh, going on and to work in a coordinated manner with the governments or state governments and municipal municipalities. That's why at this occasion, we've taken uh, the National Committee in Tepic. We were receiving information and reports not only to what's happening on a national level. We started early. from 6 to 7 that's the time that we take in the uh, in the republic's capital a little bit earlier but if we come to Nayarit it's a little earlier so we've already completed that meeting or ended that meeting and we're going to inform you and we're very happy to be advancing in the case of Nayarit with this demand by the citizens that there be security. It's notorious that in Nayarit things have gotten better in this uh, land with regarding national security. But in the past, they lived some very difficult times. There were times when violence had become uh, overwhelming in Nayarit for settlers. And now the times and things have changed, they've bettered. Not as much as we'd like. But it is evident, El cambio, this change. Es, eh, de que hay ahora más seguridad it is en Nayarit. evident that there is more security now in Nayarit. Se logró esto? How did we gain this or se accomplish this? Señalar, como lo ha mencionado el, el ciudadano gobernador, as the government has mentioned before how it was done, that police are paid better. They used to earn five to six thousand a month. And now they may, are paid 15,000. Same as what the generals were being paid and other actions but what I consider most important 
what I need to underline from the peak to the whole country is that we are uh, advancing uh, very much in guaranteeing peace when authority acts independently and with autonomy from the uh, gangs uh, and bands of delinquency. When there is a uh, border or dividing line that divides authorities, authority and delinquency. When you don't have that uh, border or that line where you don't know where delinquency ends and authority begins, there is no possibility of guaranteeing peace or tranquility. That is the greatest teaching that Nayarit teaches us. As in the past, it was notorious that the authority itself was involved in illicit acts. That should not be permitted. Neither in Nayarit or anywhere else or any other state. There should not be any uh, with becoming involved between uh, delinquents and uh, authorities. I believe that this has helped a lot. We could mention other acts, but that's uh, central. That is the greatest teaching that we get from Nayarit. We're going to ask General uh, Secretary to inform us regarding the advancement that he made here in Nayarit. Um, General Contrabelio González. Secretary of Defense that's accompanying me is also, is also the Secretary of Marines, uh, Mr. Duran, and, and the Secretary of Public Security, Alfonso Durazo, and the Secretary of Government, that is accompanying us. That is com uh, Ricardo Pro. Uh, he's the commander of the National Guard, a uh, general. Uh, general Lucio. And we're very happy to be here in Nayarit to visit this progressive working uh, place. Of, of good people. We're very happy to be here. And to be able to share points of view and to work in a coordinated way with the governor of Nayarit, Antonio Chavarria Garcia. We have maintained a very good relation with the state government and with the municipal governments in Nayarit. And that's how it will continue to be in order that you'll have an idea of the importance or significance that Nayarit has for us. That used to be be the little flea in the past a state that was abandoned a state that was a paradox with contradiction of being that it was a rich uh, a con uh, state with poor people 
I have made six visits to Nayarit. since I became president of the Republic. That's six visits. And I will continue to come after this meeting today. We are going to make an evaluation regarding uh, medical services in Nayarit, especially with that which has to do with attention to the people that have no social security, to the open public, the poorest people that have nowhere to get their health care, because we want to better the whole health system, public health system, so that there will be medical attention and free medications, medical attention that's quality and to guarantee the right to the people to help. And if, if, if you're in agreement with this, we're gonna let Luis Crescencio General speak now. And then we'll open the floor for questions and answers. So he wants the slides to go up. As of the 1st of December of 2018, the regional coordination so that you can see on the uh, screen, there were three coordination, regional coordinations that were uh, two in Nayarit and two here, and they are functioning. And we have a uh, National Guard here that's got the responsibility over these areas as you can observe. We have a total of 380 elements that are uh, doing their operations. Since they've been dispersed, there's naval and military personnel that is doing National Guard duties that they are uh, doing the responsibilities as Article 5. There's 1,073 and a total of 1,453 that are, that are covering security in this whole state. Next slide. In the analysis that we made regarding the state, the state uh, has 27, it has had several homicides from um, December to uh, May. It has diminished uh, down to um, 9.4. So there is a decrease from, say, 27 to 9.4. We identified 34 um, that are involved in delinquen organized uh, delinquency. And that's involved in the um, uh, drug uh, trafficking. This, the results that have been presented are also regarding the uh, coordination of uh, protection. If you take into consideration the, the national average and you compare it with the uh, state, and also you can see there's, while there's, it's 6.5 per every 100,000, as opposed to the, uh, the medium in, uh, in the nation, which is 25 per 100 inhabitants. 
What it has to do with safety from this administration, you can see the people that have been assigned to the, um, there's 194. Within what has been established as recommendations, they've done a very good job. They've had good results, but identified that we require a greater number of effective um, acts. And also to have the uh, uh, security cameras in the municipal areas where they have a high uh, crime index. And another thing that we consider important is attention to generate intelligence to permit us of all the areas of security to attend to the, all the areas that present themselves that has been increasing due to the work of all the areas of government. Well, that's the information that we have in general. If you would like, uh, we'll open the, the floor to, to questions. And then He has two questions. Are they applying the uh, things? Do you believe that they were, uh, Peña Nieto uh, was giving protection to the groups of uh, delinquents? We're acting with a uh, plan. These are not just occurrences. The first thing is to better the uh, economic and social conditions and conditions of life and work, to attend to the causes which cause the origin of insecurity and violence. And with this, we are, we are uh, releasing actions to protect the people as never before in Nayarit and in the country, supporting uh, uh, supporting young to give them opportunities to work the program of uh, youth uh, um, uh, building life. And there's, there's a uh, great plan from preschool to superior education. We are commit, going with the, are also giving double the pension to older adults. Before it used to be 1,160, and now it's 2,550. And if in a, in a home there was two older adults, then that's more than 5,000 a month for their nurse, uh, nutrition, that's the base. That's what had been forgotten. They abandoned the youth. The only thing they did was to call them ninis, 
and offend them and discriminate against them when they did nothing for him. And here I recall something that in their, at that time I re announced that when a young person had no more alternatives and he got involved in uh, participating with delinquent acts, they were massacred. This doesn't happen anymore. We are attending to the causes. The second thing is that there was no professionalism on the part of the uh, this, uh, those that were supposed to give uh, public security. The people was unprotected. Sometimes in the hands of delinquency themselves. So now we've created the National Guard that will mean more, having more units in the whole country that are professional and to, uh, to count on the support on the Secretary of Defense and Marines that, that could previously not do labors of public security because our constitution did not permit it. So when we made this reform to the constitution, now you can count on the support of Marines, uh, soldiers, and we're working in a coordinated way, federal police, military police, naval police, that integrate the National Guard and coordinated with, with gov uh, state governments and municipalities. So that's another that didn't wasn't done before. Is that they didn't follow through with the problem. They did not attend to it directly uh, per the president. Now it's on a daily basis. It is my uh, prime or uh, matter to deal with. Very early every day, because that is what concerns us the uh, the people the most. So another uh, uh, link in this chain is to call the youth so that they not fall in drugs to diminish the consumption that will help us a lot especially uh, drugs used to prolifer proliferate and we're going to inform them which was kept in secret occult we used to turn on the TV and the radio and we could find out many things, new discoveries that they were saying on science, but never uh, did they tell us regarding what was uh, drugs were causing uh, you, the youth. We could uh, be we could be figure out that there was an element that actually encouraged because you can't say just one thing or I'm sorry but there's no orientation as to what the danger was uh, or the causes the bad things uh, drugs did. They did not orient on this matter. So now we have a whole campaign to educate, orient children, giving them options. And before depression used to give 
or depression and uh, very few possibilities that there not be frustration that we be able to encourage everybody to go on the uh, road of a, a good um, direction. So we can see that it is ne needed. So right now we're waiting. We're waiting. We are discussing. Um, it's kind of on hold right now, but we're doing it little by little. But there's, if there's any more questions, this is public dominion that um, authorities were also involved in uh, who were they involved with. That is something that needs to be looked at in uh, detail. But it was um, um, judges, authorities. There's lots of um, uh, files on this matter. It's not something that is hidden or that is not known. It has been officialized or official. But, but all you have to do is investigate. You guys that are professional watchers. So one from Nayarit and one national. So he wants one national and one from the, the state. You have said that you're going to help the farm workers. We have seven organizations. They've invited someone to come and look at the problem, and he never came because he lives in Guadalajara. I don't know if um, if you're going to support us regarding uh, these people that have lost their permits to work or cards. They've all, oh, that's their uh, licenses. Their cars have been taken away. Can you help and answer this? We have, uh, we are not going to permit any abuses, nothing from anybody when it comes to abuse towards the people. We will not affect producers. There will be no um, attacks. And we will support you in everything. This matter which you are bringing uh, forth, we will be looking at that. That's what these conferences are for, so that everyone can express and let us know their problems. And it helps a lot that there be people telling us what, so that you let us know what's going on in details of injustices. Here, for example, in Nayarit, it, there used to be the case, and I'm saying it for Nayarit, but but also so that everyone will know in a national level. 
than here. It used to be that there were people with uh, uh, there was people that had buildings that used to uh, have the business of taking people out of their homes for with those that had credits with Infonavit. That's like their lenders that used to give the home loans. That they did these injustices. And that was, this is good news that in the peak, I sent uh, to the administration of Infonavit a proposal so they not uh, be removing any uh, worker that had credit at Infonavit while we are in government. They will not be removing one person uh, for workers that had credits with Infonavit or loans. And I am uh, happy that Infonavit has people that are working there that are hard workers and they work for the government that approved this decision. The, the trafficking of the, uh, what is it? So, so, so they had a problem uh, where if they hadn't been able to pay their loans, they were being taken, thrown out of their homes, and they are no longer going to be allowing that. So they used to inform the another address just so they could say they informed, but then they showed up and used to take people out of their homes. That used to happen here in Nayarit, and it's documented. And also in other areas of the country, all that ends completely. I would like to ask you a couple of questions. They're saying it's a recession, according to Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. They're saying now that we're in a slight recession. And they So do you know about the ex-governor Cesar Duarte being captured in Italia, Italy? So we're being nostalgic regarding the old anti-popular uh, political policies of neoliberal government. So there's there used to be a club of defenders of of this uh, neoliberal economics that was a failure. So they still have not resign themselves that we're not going to continue without politics and that from every area from every angle they are insisting from one uh, from the periodicals or the newspapers they keep saying oh there's a recession And they uh, volumize that or uh, try to make it a big deal because they are not happy with the new political 
uh, economics. Entonces, so therefore, in the English uh, newspaper uh, comes out in the American and so they say it on the American and then they repeat it here. So all the newspapers are saying they seem like little flyers regarding the uh, neoliberal. So I look at Universal. There's a recession. Financero. Of course. All of them. Yesterday we were talking about the financero that it uh, started saying that that they were they were lowering uh, the national debt with Pemex. So I went in to see what it was about. It was a projection or prognostication for 40 years. So like if by then we would still be living. So I guess we'll find out. Uh, in 40 years we'll find out. <laughs> However, that was yesterday. I was just talking about the financero. They didn't like that flower that was better than financial times. Another, they had another note that they, that they, uh, so they made some kind of a, a thing that said that they're letting uh, Mexican doctors go because they're going to be hiring Cuban doctors. He says they're not cautious. I'm making a call out to the owners and directors of the media to act responsibly or else I'm going to have to spend my time uh, answering to uh, these lies all the time, but to answer concretely your question, I do not see uh, a recession. Why don't they say that the peso is the um, exchange that has grown the most in the country, in the world? as a, compared to the dollar in this amount of time. Why do they not mention that there's less inflation than before? I'm just talking about two variables. So this is a time of growth. As the attorneys say to uh, to assert without conceding that there be a, dim, a diminishing in the uh, growth plate. I have no doubt that there could exist that, that, that dimin diminishing in the growth uh, plate, but it is in actually increasing this level of development because now there is a better distribution of the, of the income. What is growth? It's the production of wealth. That is growth. To produce goods or wealth. But it does not mean to distribute wealth. During the, 
during the neoliberal period, we had uh, neither growth n nor distribution of wealth. The little bit that the economy grew was kept in a few little hands. The, now the difference is that even if there's less growth, there's more development. There's more distribution of the wealth. But this is not being conceived. These technocrats. Because they used to talk about development, not growth. In the neoliberal period, growth became the, the growth term became uh, predominant. We want growth with well-being. And that is what we are gaining. And for the tranquility of the uh, technocrats, neoliberals, or expert neoliberals, so they can be tranquil, take into consideration that it is very important that there not be any depreciation or devaluation of our, our money and that that is being gained or the currency and that it is very important that there not be inflation because if you have inflation you lose acquisitive power in the salary Why do you forget now? There's three important factors for a good management of the economy. Three. That the currency, in this case the peso, be maintained stable and strong. that there not be inflation, because inflation uh, needs to be remain controlled, and that there be growth. Those are the three elements. So we can't, they, they rub their hands together when they talk about recession. What was recession? What would it mean? What happened uh, with uh, Salinas in the, and Cedillo and Salinas that the economy dropped seven points? It decreased seven percent. And now they projected, they say, we projected 2% growth and they have, they're not going to be reaching it. They're thinking it's going to be 1%. That's what they say. But let's say that it did happen that way. We're talking about growth, not a, a devaluation. Let, let's say, for example, if it happened that way. But we are free. They will continue questioning the uh, economic management because it bothers them so much that it, it was decided to end corruption. That's the main thing. These things they're running, 
the press, the financial international press, and the national one as well. They were like um, covering up the politics of looting that's been happening in Mexico because they were encouraging and helping with their uh, uh, silence, complicit silence. They never used to tell that the country was being looted. They pretended not to see. And now, they're the most tenacious critics of our politics. We respect them, and they will always be guaranteed their right to dissent. But we, we are going to exercise our right to uh, dispute. And, and I hope you're wrong. Because if you're wrong, what does that mean? That it will go well for us. That there will be economic growth and that they're uh, um, thinking that we'll, we'll be um, doing poorly, we'll be wrong. And I feel like we feel that things are going well, not only perseverance, but also there's fortune. We've been fortunate. drugs, but they didn't talk about deaths, assassination, people disappearing, uh, kidnapped because of the conflicts. And this happens where I'm from. The 11th of May visited our municipal area. And this young man, you spoke to him. I, you spoke to this young man and I recorded it was, and this young man he desperately told me that he was being threatened for death you might remember him you asked the governor to, to give him protection to attend him Echeverria it's that he told him, visit me another day. So he went there. And, and they told him, come back within 15 days. And then within a few days, he was threatened that they were going to kill him if he insisted and if he kept trying to look for you. Within three days, on the 17th of May, when I took this picture, took it from the video as, as he was dialoguing with you and asking you that his father was in jail due to some crime they had fabricated. And I've been following this, this matter with a conflict that has to do with some lands that they were trying to take. On the 17th of May, disappeared. And a local newspaper notified from Nayarit what happened. It was an incident where the police uh, 
that were involved. And you, the governor, knows because he's received lots of complaints. And, and they are not following up on this. So regarding the police, there's a group of police that dedicate, devote themselves to this. And the land of this people that is in jail and was accused of a kidnapping that was fabricated. And he denounced, and this is the hand of the, of the law, where he narrates and gives names of all the people that have permitted, that have been extorting him. And here's the complaint. It's very grave, because we came The family was very scared, the mother and the grandmother, because they've been threatened. And there's people that are very, uh, that is the ringleader that is a friend of the governor. And the grandmother and mother have been out on, uh, on, have it in this document. That they didn't want to do it with the uh, legal means. When they mentioned the name of the commander, they just said no, and they left. So I took it to the Center of Attention for Victims. There was an attorney, Raul Rosas, that was uh, attended to these people so that they can uh, write this demand. But it was what happened. Since this commission, when they took it to Nayarit, and they did not receive it. So we want to give it to you so you can help us with the attorney general. How is it possible? They didn't even investigate. And yesterday I went to the commission to bring it here so that you can do us the favor that, that it goes to the gen attorney general of the republic. This, as you said before, in other uh, places that has its causes and we need to attack the causes. And what is the cause? The great corruption that exists in uh, and in the tribunals. These organizations or institutions have grown over 30 years and they've made a great business uh, with uh, the problem with certification on the lands. There's many people that have been, uh, and magistrates that have been, uh, uh, that they've been notified, have been misbehaving. So, So they've already had two assassinations of this conflict, and I didn't hear that they mentioned it. And I don't believe it happens only in this area. So my, I've, I'm asking that you, and I've notified so many departments, and and there's very expensive uh, lands 
and the lands are intestate and they won't allow them to uh, put the lands in their lands. And they're making a, a business from this. They can't progress because nobody's um, handling things properly and they won't give them their uh, uh, you know, title to their lands. So they've been invaded. They have a golf club made. And these land people, these, they've taken people. So these are very bad cases that nobody wants to land and invest in these lands because they can't get the titles. That's what the uh, notification I'm giving you here. And this is a life and death now. And he's been, he's disappeared. And it's the Attorney General of Naya that refused to, to see him when he went there to see him. And he is lost. And we do not know where he is. And they are um, uh, was it blackmailing his father that's in jail. And the authorities and the National Guard are here. We have the hope. They think where they know where this young man might be, but can the National Guard go with him and help him? That's all I want to manifest to you, but there's a lot more. But, but you know, because you've come a lot of times, but this is for me, is the most grave in this moment. Because this 24 year young old year old man that came to you and directed at the government and what resulted was his disappearance. We are going to attend to your matter right now. We're going to ask Alfonso Durazo to talk to you so we can have all the data and they will go find the, the way to save this, this uh, young man's life and to find him in alive. And the rest we will deal with. Um, but the serious situation needs to be dealt with. And yes, there are conflicts regarding the land for in that area for many years. But we will attend to it. So this Sunday they're going to start the uh, immigration uh, attacks in the U.S. So what are the consulates going to do for the Mexicans that are being uh, uh, they're going to start uh, uh, breaking into homes in the U.S. What's the are you going to be intervene in the Supreme Court for the Justice for what's happening and what they're saying they're going to do in the U.S. Frankly, that they've increased their, the number of uh, the time that Jaime Mueni is going to be there. If you can go to the Supreme Court Justice, how to help that the local 
aumentar los años a, a los gobernadores, pues después de que en just all eh, pues, of a sudden increase the terms for governors when we uh, wanted them to be for less time. Acerca de esto último, regarding this final matter, we are confident that the competent authorities will resolve it. The Institute for uh, Electoral Tribunal, Electoral Tribunal, has received the um, complaints regarding this matter. So what is the advantage? That there be no influences from the president does not get involved in these matters as he used to before. There is no line. The line is that there is no line. So, so be relaxed and do not be confused. We are not the same. I see directors from one party and I listen to them. They say if this was already permitted because the re-election is coming, the presidential election. Let's not have them exaggerate. We're not the same. <laughs> That's another matter. It's another. Before, how did they used to do it? Am I going to have to be reminded? Everything used to be. If something happened like Baja California, it was because it was authorized by the president. That's how it used to be. How did they give the registrations for the parties? How did they remove and place uh, candidates? Because the president decided. It would be in bad taste for me not to be reminding you what happened one or two years ago. Or not six or twelve, or fifteen or twenty. This case, just, he says, I have nothing to do in these matters. This changed now. He says, you may have changed, but the lower ones are still doing the same thing. The only the thing is there's a difference. Let's form, you formulate the question is, um, you want to do things right, but with the bottom ones, don't. Right, that's what you're saying, right? But there's a great advantage that when the top person wants to do things right, how did it used to be that both the top and the bottom did not want to do things the right way? So then now we're actually on a winning streak. But in a socialist system, because what <laughs> the president, the president of the public has a lot of authority. And so therefore, the president has a lot of influence. And they used to use that influence very badly. So now it doesn't exist anymore. What's more, I can say, I've never done it, not even with the opposition. And that's why you won't be able to make us uh, get involved. We have our moral authority that holds us back. 
but let's say in this case that the legislators let's see I'm going to mention what happened legislators from all parties or wasn't it like that PRI PAN PRD Morena all of them they took a decision. Okay. In a sense. Imagine if, if, if they had consulted me the way they did before. And I would have said authorized like they did before. That in effect they could come to an agreement and to approve that reform. How then would I be now? I would be have to drop my face in shame without authority. That's why, with all respect, I say they couldn't have daily conferences. Or maybe. Yeah, because they were fixed. There used to be a press that was more moderate and prudent. And, and I could hear tell you that I cannot get involved in these matters. Nothing crooked. All of that has ended. The state of, of crookedness. Now it's a state of correctness and not of crookedness. wait for the tribunal's views. Nothing that is unjust no se permite, will not be permitted va to prosper. Nada. Nothing. Es que son cosas distintas. These are different matters. Eh, lo legal y lo moral. What legal and moral things Entonces, are. I do not believe that anything that is unjust will prosper. This will end. That was a different time. I say no. But they don't consult me on these matters. How, how can they consult me on that when they know very well? Tomando 
actos y cosas que no debe de ser en so, un ayuntamiento que está olvidado so por el pueblo del Estado. Por favor, señor gobernador, eh, gobernador y señor things, presidente de la República, wanna, venga con Costela. Hay gente que quiere escucharlo como, como hay and usted a esta casa. Him. Bueno, vamos a ir a Costela. So, ok, sure, we'll go over there. Because we'll go everywhere. We'll go to the 20 municipalities, I guess. One more question from Nayarit. Two questions. You spoke regarding the media of communication. Se vio claramente que ya no somos alcahuetes. So now you know we're not covering. Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Are you going to protect people that are going to be protected? Um, reactivated social activity that was reinitiated and nothing has happened. The most affected are the poorest. And in your government, according to you, are going to get protection. Yes, we are protection, protecting all um, uh, newspaper people that notify us that do this Al job sin protección. Lo está haciendo that esta. the government is Tenemos uh, protecting protección we have protection para cerca de 500 periodistas for around 500 um, news, uh, media people in the police protegiendo. that are being protected in general, in general. Y lo vamos a seguir haciendo. and we will continue to do so y vamos and we will guarantee no that there be no reprisals. No We're not the same in that. No don't confuse us. No we don't censor. Los the previous governments, al que mal anyone who spoke against them, against the government, they would put them aside. Este, así le pasó that also happened to Carmen Aristegui and a lot of others. At one time they uh, did an interview with me and they never used to interview me in a radio program. And before that, before the interview, me dijo, le doy la entrevista. He says, I'm giving you this interview because I don't believe what you say. That they're censoring, and I'm going to demonstrate that. The conductor told me, and I can reconstruct it, the action, and I can give you the names and everything. That it was not true. So he interviewed me. Pues a la semana lo corrieron. But within a week they ran it. Y and me habló nada más para dejarme el recado que cuánta razón tenía. And so then he realized he no called pasa. to tell me that I was. Nosotros no hacemos eso. Um, I had no reason. Iguales. And we are not the same. Y lo voy a estar. And I'm going este, to keep up señalando, reiterando, uh, reiterating nos costó mucho eso. that it was very hard to do El this, mantener una to maintain uh, consequences. Yo no llegué aquí I did not get here to the presidency, de el leaving pieces of my dignity on the road. Yo I came Conmemorar. with my morals intact. Por eso, and that's why eh, puedo I can a los confront anybody with creative interests. 
regarding the electricity, I am complying with the uh, commitment I made of not increasing the prices of energy. Del diesel, del gas y de la luz. Diesel. Eso es lo que estoy haciendo. Gasoline, electric. La vez pasada That's estuve what I am doing. en el norte de Nayarit y me plantearon que estaban aumentando. And they told me they were increasing. Los, eh, recibos o que estaban cobrando they más por la luz. Mandé hacer una investigación. So I sent somebody Nayarit, to investigate especial. in Nayarit. Para esto for this purpose. Y el que tengo and the information I got is that it had not really mucho menos gone up, a los pobres, and especially less uh, los for the poor. De todas maneras, lo voy but a in any case, I will re revise Porque it or review it again, because it's my word la que está that is in question, este, empeñada. or that is uh, Yes, sí, mi respuesta es esa. My response que is no this, aumentar that they will not increase el de la luz. the price of electricity. No solo para Nayarit, and not only for Nayarit, todo el país. for the whole country. Por qué? Do you know why? Está baja la inflación. Why inflation is low? Según los técnicos, According to the te technicals, no it's because the price of energy gobierno. has not gone up. Ya. That's why Aumentado maybe the, maybe the price pollo. of chicken has gone up. Aumentado el precio de los aguacates, Avocados have gone up. Other things that are no consumed, aumentado. but not los the price of energy. Todos los días Every day estoy I am vigilant no because I do not want anybody to point out to me no that I offered something that was not he cumplido, o vaya uh, a cumplir. Uh, completed or been complied with a commitment. Lo revisamos, we will re review it, decir but I can tell you no that there is no increase in uh, real terms Al precio de la luz. to the price of electricity. Y lo digo también para que and I say because este I also sepa, want you to know y, that mire, En estas conferencias, if these conferences eh, hay there is todo el derecho de manifestación, every right to manifest pero también, but also a mí me gustaría, I would like o le pido a la prensa as nacional, I ask the national press nacionales, en el caso de los medios locales in case no metamos, regarding the local means let's not get between your uh, internal problems with politics, internal politics. For example, that you don't like Manuel Peraza, or something regarding that. But it's evident. So, so now Manuel Peraza comes out here. Sí. Por eso. Por eso. Entonces, pero so, oigan, este nosotros so we, vamos a dar respuesta a las necesidades, a los problemas de la we, gente we will, y en este caso we will deal with the problems caso, of the people, but in this case este ya this has, eh, el hecho de que ustedes that you've denunciando announced va a obligar it will obligate Aquel that he act con respeto, with moderation and respect the way he's supposed to do. Por eso. That's why Pero no mezclemos but la let's not mix the decision o la or the act o el or the behavior or the matter of a public servant with the functioning of the government. Una más. One more question. Nayarit, más Nayarit. A ver, pero no Manuel Peraza, por favor. O sea, o sea, hay muchos problemas. De Nayarit, señor. Eh, comentó usted. También si estamos... quieren Manuel Peraza también, eh. Somos... Señor René Ruiz del Grupo Informativo Dominio Público del sí. Noticiero Nayarit hoy. Comentó usted al inicio de la conferencia sobre los problemas de la inseguridad y en su plan nacional de desarrollo está. Eh, ya lo 
eh, también sobre la posible legalización o levantamiento prohibición de algunas de las sustancias prohibidas. Una pregunta es, quiero hacer dos, si me lo permite, la primera es que si antes de que termine su gobierno esto va a ser realidad, que dice que está en estudio, que lo están analizando, se va a levantar la Are they going to be removing to prohibit this violence with the prohibition? And then what about the young people? They need other options. And the situation in Nayarit is they only have till September to continue this uh, uh, study. They want to know regarding from the Secretary of Education regarding the money they need to continue operating this educational department. Regarding the first part, we are analyzing everything. One um, advantage we have is that there is no to give accounting to anybody regarding of interest groups that are created. That's what the people decide. They decide what they want to do. And we will analyze it. We are looking at it. What I've explained is that first, we have to better the economic uh, uh, social situation. For the then we have national guards. Then attend the, to the youth. Cuarto, Fourth, reducir el consumo. reduce consumption. Eh, los jóvenes Calling the a youth que no en, en las to not fall into addiction. Viene so quinto, then comes fifth, el análisis the analysis de si conviene o no conviene if it's convenient or not la legalización this legalization sexto in sex uh, sixth, lo que aquí se planteó sobre el, la amnistía regarding amnesty de octavo un acuerdo and then another para uh, eighth is a control de armas with the control of arms que tiene que ver that has to do with con Estados Unidos with the US quinto and fifth, a tenth, we also have to uh, decrease the no. consumption in the U.S. Son cosas. So there's a Estamos lot of empezando. things, and we're just starting. El es but the objective is la paz. to gain peace, y lo vamos and a we will ¿Cuál es la otra gain pregunta? it. What's the next question? Ah, la a university, we are reforming and bringing a change, and we set aside the educational reform, and they canceled it. We complied with that in order that they won't say that we were the same as the others. Sí, pero así están otras. But that's how others are. Depend, dep dependiendo. They're dependent de del manejo del of dinero. the management of the money. Nosotros, todos because all of us have to take care of the budget because it belongs to the people. No es, ¿sabes qué? It's not ya safe. No uh, oh, well, guess what? We si ran out of money. No me das, and we se para la universidad. Uh, if you don't give me money, oh. yeah, the, the um, university will be closed. Oh, oh then si we're gonna. Dinero, if you don't give us, we'll, we're gonna decrease the oh. amount of people going in. Si tú nos das dinero, and if you don't give us money, acusamos, we'll accuse you. Que no te la that you don't care about public education. None of that. Va a haber todo there el will apoyo be como nunca all the support pública. for education. Pero necesitamos cuentas but claras. we need clear accounting because there are universities that are in hands of, de grupos, of groups de creados, of creative interests and I wanted to use a stronger word but I decided I'm not in este, the opposition that used to be libertad, used to give me a lot <laughs> to a lot of liberties now I have to limit myself ya, but you know what I'm saying how some universities eh, are now, dame, dame, and they keep asking ah, for more. 
y la excusa la and autonomía. The is autonomy. Entonces, so vamos then, a estar entregando dinero so es de todos give money to everybody para que so they can, no se maneje con transparencia. So they don't manage it with transparency. Estamos haciendo esa revisión. So we're doing that revision. Va a haber presupuesto para There la educación pública como nunca, for public education, pero no vamos a permitir la corrupción. We will not per permit corruption. Queremos cuentas claras we want clear accounting. y chocolate espeso. And thick chocolate. Una más. A ver. Oh my gosh, one more. Lo de Estados Unidos. Regarding the Bien. U.S. They said they're going to be... Uh, there's a fraternal discrepancy. Why don't you formulate the question and let the people know that, that, that it was reduced according to the United States? 30% the deportation in June. ¿Por qué? Why not? La pregunta es, Why is the question que anuncian que van that they announce that they're going to be rounding si up? Todavía, o sea, if it had, informa, and yesterday they informed the the, las en junio, and why aren't they announcing that deportation has increased qué? 30%? O sea, primero lo primero este Because it's in the communication media right now. Bueno, no fue nota de ocho en algunos, pero sí se mencionó en los hilos informativos. But they did inform. A lo que voy es. So what I'm going to is that. Es algo que. There's something that. Puede pasar. It may happen. O sea, pero no está. But it has not happened. Confirmado. It has not been confirmed. Y si se diese. And if it happened. Tenemos nosotros. We would then have to. Mecanismos. Mechanisms. De protección of protection to, for our people and for migrants. And we're doing that. But don't, don't be getting ahead of ourselves. I am here within my uh, position and you are doing well because that is your job. You are professional of uh, reporting, but I'm also doing my job. One more question. The relationship with the United States is good. And, and I remind you that we uh, made a commitment that if there was a threat to uh, demand tariffs, quotas, taxes on uh, Mexican in and in that is sold with the United States. That caused because we acted with and the U.S. Se llegó a un acuerdo que se hizo so we público. came to a public agreement y and eh, se decidió evaluar we decided to evaluate el resultado the results del acuerdo of the agreement en tres meses. within three months Entonces, no puede haber nada so they cannot do anything that is extraordinary es decir, that is to say, eh, un, unforeseen, Como esto de la masiva, such as this massive deportation, because there is an agreement, el día 10 de it will be evaluated 
on the 10th of September. I am very aware of it. But we are doing very well. It is being complied with. Because we are helping Central American countries. And I've met with President from El Salvador. And I am going to meet with the President of Honduras and within 10 days. And also in Chiapas. We are giving them funds for development so that the Central Americans will have jobs in their countries. Our Central American brothers will have jobs and they won't have the need to immigrate. And also, the United States government authorized funds for investments in Mexico. And thanks to, to the National Guard, in a special way, uh, for force, armed forces, we have complied with the commitment of controlling according to the law the migratory influx without violating human rights. So the plan is going well. There can be no este um, extraordinario extraordinary eh, es todo de acuerdo it is all according to los compromisos que se hicieron the commitments that you made los que serán este fin de semana por eso está la pregunta sí pero todo va de acuerdo but everything goes according to lo pactado what's been uh, agreed upon y and there are good results. They cannot do unforeseen. And the relations are good with the U.S. But in case that they did a decision like that, then we would, would intervene in order to to make sure that that and to assure them there that is not the proper route. Uh, so, so that the uh, concierge of uh, foreign uh, relations said he would go. And is it possible that he's going to go this weekend? I don't believe so. Because we have to have eh, data, eh, something that was been informed. Son declaraciones. There are declarations, but this way, let's act prudently. No engancharnos. Not let, let's not get hooked. There's a file uh, investigating the FGR regarding from Peña Núñez. Nothing has been done. What do you say about that? So we'll take note on it. See if it's something that be belongs to us. I'm advising you that all these things are good for us to inform us. Because it's it's very difficult este, to send telegrams todos, este, to everyone. Oh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, With uh, electronic mail or, or Pero, messages. Esta but luckily, we ya have this possibility. La Fiscalía General, the District Attorney lo que antes era la or Attorney General, which is, es the, is now autonomous. It's independent. For example, for example, the detention of this famous attorney. Sí. Yes. Fue una decisión was the decision de la fiscalía from the attorney general. I found out el día de la detención. on the day of the detention. Hay 
there's change or is there no change? How did it used to be? Who, give, who used to give the order to the Attorney General? Now, that we all understand and all of us need to be helping to make the, the new rules of fun, no that it's not y the same no hay simulación. and there's no simulation Porque, eh, Porfirio Díaz because Porfirio Diaz established the system of simulation entonces, that's since that Porfirio time Díaz Porfirio no Diaz never stopped being un, un an election Nunca dejó he never stopped uh, giving uh, information seis meses. before they used to inform every six months. But he always used to get out and inform, and he always had elections Pero todo in time and form. Pura but it was all simulated because the Constitution was respected. La forma para actually being violated in the, in the underneath. And that's where they used to say one thing but did another. So then the change is that now all of us need to behave according to, to the existing law. That there is an authentic state of correctness and that there be no simulation. So what did they used to say? It's not a matter of us. It's the imparting of justice. In the case of the movements of uh, politicians, the leaders used to say, it's not my problem. It's the basis. No, none of that. It's a problem of the leaders. And the, and the people weren't even informed. They used to decide on the top. And the people didn't know. So now all of that has to change. And also democracy. Syndicated. Free, uh, secret voting. So they can elect their uh, representatives for the teachers, for the workers, in the unions. Everyone needs to help. It's interesting that we are able to make the transformation of the country. And so I'm going to say that. And uh, don't worry, I'm going to keep coming. So now we're going to Tepi. And we'll be coming. It has not been confirmed that they are saying this is one. And in case that, they, that it were true, uh, now that we're talking about it, who has to act? The fiscal general or attorney general. That's their department. And of course, after that, from the apprehension order, that is approved by a judge, that's a procedure. Things have changed. And so we agreed. So we've given them the job from the train Maya to someone, but the commitment is to that it come out of Nayarit. So that's when Fonatur is going to be. And then the whole process of centralization will be taken into account by the uh, states of the Republic and that project will go. But we are, we're trying to set up the basis and they left us in a situation that was a bit complicated. 
estamos actuando so we are acting. Eh, vamos a decir Or we're gonna say, en un periodo de transición in a period of transition. y por eso no hemos podido And that's why we eh, have not cumplir been able con, to esa, with that con ese compromiso commitment. de que se descentralice todo el gobierno that they decentralize se va a the whole government. trasladar and they are going to be de sending the uh, agricultural to the city of Obregón, Sonora. And Ponatur will be with you guys here in Vegas. And all these commitments. And some have already been complied with. And there's a few that are still. But Islas Marias has already been complied with. But now we need to, to convert it into a park for schools, for the protection of uh, environment for young people. The Secretary of Environment and with the Marines are going to implement that plan. And for you guys, it's a lot closer. And that's correct. So for camping for young children, for youth, so they can receive training. Uh, the places eh, they can live in Las Islas Marias, are eh, going to be called uh, como homenaje uh, to the city of Las Islas Marias. It's going to be called the city of Las Islas Marias. It's going to be called the city of Las Islas Marias.